Hey everyone, I know this is a different video today, but um, today I'm doing a Q&A for a milestone of hitting for 200 subscribers, finally. Took a second, but we finally got there. Uh, we're on the road to 300 now. We're already at 217, which is kind of sick. So yeah, I asked you guys in the last couple videos in the description and in the comments to um, just put some questions down there. You know, whatever y'all want to know about me, as long as it's not too personal, obviously. So most of the questions did come from um, a specific source, um, Lulu Drummer. She was kind of the main one putting in some questions, but I'll try to also ask some questions that you guys probably want to know about me anyway. That's just not in the comments. So our first question is, looking on my computer here, why did you start playing the drums? And to be honest, it's been a long time. Like, I started playing the drums like when I was a baby. It wasn't really the drums. I just like hit pots and pans. And I don't really, I guess I just enjoyed it. You know, like you just enjoy things. Like it's not, you don't really have a reason, you just enjoy like, you know, some people have video games, some people have reading, you know, sports, stuff like that. You just enjoy doing it. And I guess that's why. And plus it was, you know, something to do is hobby. So yeah, um, my next question, next question from Lulu is, who inspired me to play the drums the most? And I don't really know. It's kind of, it's not one, but it's not one specific person. It's more of like a collection of people, you know, you have people from metal bands, pop bands, rock bands, gospel bands that are all better than me. So I guess I like took inspiration from like a lot of drummers at once who were like kind of where I want to be and like just work, just kind of work to get better like every day when I can. Yeah, I um, hope that answers your question. And if not, you know, you can ask me in the comments and I can answer it again if you want. The next question is, what's the easiest and hardest song I've done so far? That's a hard one. I have a lot of drum covers. I say it was for the easiest one. The easiest drum cover I say would be the faded drum cover that I did for Alan Walker. Because dubstep songs are actually really simple drum wise. It's kind of like the same beat over and over again. With just like effects and stuff in the background. So I guess that'd be the easiest. And I guess the hardest one, coincidentally, would be the one I just did yesterday, Rosanna. And I'm not just saying that because it's the most recent one. It was actually pretty interesting. It's a pretty different song than what you hear nowadays. It has some weird like time signatures. Like it has like jazz and rock combined and I never ever like played jazz. So like having to like do like jazz stuff was like new to me. So I guess that would be like the hardest one I've done. Um, her next question is, what's the hardest thing about learning the drums? Um, that's different for everybody. Like for me, sheet music isn't really that hard. It's more of, like if I was playing a sheet music song, I would just have to learn the song and other than, and then I'd be kind of set. But I guess the hardest thing for me would be like speed on it. And I know a lot of people want to focus on speed and playing fast. But like for me specifically, I have a double pedal. So like, I kind of, you know, if you want to get fast at a double pedal, well, obviously it'd be nice. So I feel like for me it's speed and hitting consistently while playing fast. Like sometimes I'll like do, I know what I want to do in my head and I'll do the motion, but I don't like hit like the times or the symbols. That, that's probably would be the hardest for me. And her last question is, what made you go from Beyblades to Judd Drum Channel? So yeah, some of you might not know, but I used to um, do Beyblade videos like every day, way back down if you scroll down to my old bad videos. They were really bad. You can watch them if you want, but it's corny. I just got out of it. I grew I grew out of it playing with Beyblades. It was nice, you know, a fun toy. But I just kind of stopped. Actually, I have them down here. So yeah, I have them all down here. A little bucket. So yeah. Yeah, I just kind of grew out of it. Got, I got old, older and I just stopped playing with toys, really. And that's all her questions. I couldn't find any other questions from anybody else. So I'll try to answer some that y'all probably still have about me. What do I do besides YouTube and stuff like that? So clearly, you know, I'm young. I go to school and stuff, study. I have chores every day, typical. Um, I have a switch, not a home on. Um, yeah, I have a switch. My main game is Rocket League. You know, some of y'all might play Rocket League, but yeah. That's really what I do outside of it. You know, go to church, all that jazz. Oh, another question y'all might have about me is if I do I have any other social medias or stuff like that. And I guess, I, yeah, I do. The only other one I have is TikTok. Uh, at first I downloaded it for the memes, but I kind of got into it. And yeah, I, I upload on there like my drum videos. Sometimes I do skits. Um, I'm forgetting the name of my own TikTok as I'm doing this. So I'll just leave the name of my TikTok in the description if you want to check it out. 
Oh y'all, I seen comments on this. Um, y'all always ask, some of y'all ask me how do I learn drum covers and songs so quickly? And truthfully, a lot of the times I do already know the songs that you guys suggest and that I do. So that does make it easier. But every once in a while, I'll try to find a song I haven't done in a while or one that's just new. And I'll try to learn that one. And what I do is I try to learn it the day of. And I did that with Rosanna too. I learned that the day of, surprisingly. And um, I just kind of, I play it over and over again till I get it down. And once I get it down, I record it, edit it, and I upload it. And I try to do that every day. Sometimes I miss a day because I just don't know what song I'm going to do or I can't find one, which kind of sucks because I want to do videos every day. And um, yeah, I guess that's the end of the Q&A. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, thank you guys so much for 200 subscribers. It's been a, it's been a grind. I'm at 217 right now. So yeah, thank you guys so much for all your support. Yeah, wrote 300 subs. See you guys in the next video. Peace.